what can insight can you give us on the inside as to what Ukrainians think about their leadership, as to what Russians are uh, saying about Putin, and maybe the stories that we're just not hearing in the news? Yeah. Putin definitely deserves a uh, Academy Award for being the greatest bullshit artist on the planet. I mean, the way he can just spin everything and just deny everything he's done and you know like listen i we're we're rebuilding like half of bucho right now where all those things you know happen and all those massacres happen i've personally met everybody in bucho you know i ask them for example you know who did this to you who killed your wife who killed your children you know it was all russians but the Putin's able to twist that and say that it was staged by Americans, that the Ukrainians did this to make them look bad, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a master, master manipulator, uh, manipulator yes. right? And since he controls He's former state, KGB, I mean, this and, is kind of in his blood, I right? I mean, he controls state, state television media. completely right. to a point where every single Russian girl that I know can't see my posts on Instagram about what I'm doing in Ukraine. I mean, they have no idea what's going on. They just see what they want them to see. So it's easy to brainwash a whole population if you don't give them access, right, to the truth. So, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of confusing uh, messages. Zelensky, on the other hand, had he not been an actor, it's a lot of similarities actually in in the journey. If you think about where I went through, right? Had I not been a nightlife, you can always trust in God's like master plan for your mm -hmm. destiny, right? Had I not been a nightlife guy for twenty years, everyone's like, "What's a nightlife guy doing? What you're doing now?" Yeah, there's no chance I'd be able to do what I'd be doing. And had I not been a builder, it's like the nightlife taught you the ability to like network and right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come to the club tonight. Right. right? How about now? Come Hosting to the hospitality, making people feel about, welcome and warm. That's that's in yeah. your DNA. How about come to that warehouse and volunteer to help Puerto Rico right now? Mm -hmm. right? It's the same exact job, right? Mm -hmm. How about instead of hey, you want to come buy a ten thousand dollar bottle for Tiesto? Why not donate ten thousand dollars to help people, <laughs> right? But like what you say there, yeah, I like right? that. It, it's it's really a similar thing. The the logistics, scheduling hundreds of trucks and planes and containers and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to do a decade of running construction jobs, right? That I was doing before as a as a developer and having crews of two hundred people, whether they're you know hammering something or whether they're loading pallets, it's all like a, a part of management. So that skill set that I learned to be able to execute what I do today is the exact same analogy than Zelensky. Had Zelensky not been a comedian and an actor and starstruck and all of that, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have the ability to go on TV and literally like every minute say, look what this guy's doing to us. You have to stop him. I need weapons. Yeah. If you don't give me the weapons to stop him, he's going to take Kiev, then he's going to take Poland, then he's going to take Finland. He'll never stop. So That's what he's basically saying about that, Putin. And and honestly, he, it's the truth. He, he, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's really yeah, correct. Probably, I assure you, if 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 Putin would have got Kiev, if they would have made it past Bucha, and he would have got Kiev, he doesn't right just now, stop there. We live in a very different world right now. We really? live in a very different world. Yeah, they would gotcha. have taken. You so know, you're the whole saying that, that uh, been back you're, in business. you're giving Putin the uh, Academy Award for acting like he's not doing evil things, whereas Zelensky deserves credit for uh, his background as an actor, comedian, to kind of. Uh, galvanize the world in his uh, favor uh, to his side for you know to win the war in, in Russia. That's kind of the analogy that you're using right there. Imagine I live in Kiev right now. Yeah. You guys see on the news a you know missile that hits a shopping mall. I literally drive in our car with our teams the next day, and we're speaking and seeing it, and the fire is still like smoking, and I'm watching this with my own eyes. And then you have Putin going, "Wasn't us." It's, yeah, it's the Ukrainians that did this to themselves. Right? I mean, it's beyond like yeah. an Academy Award. It's just, of course, and and it, it's unimaginable to think, and that's why America is great with this, you know, uh, freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. There is no freedom of speech there. What they see in Russia right now is a completely different story. Yeah, and this this you know you were talking about you know, people getting arrested. I mean, look look what's happening. Look look at our freedoms. We have. Russia yesterday announced that they were going to basically do a draft now because they're losing the war, right? And they're just going to basically take 300,000 people. You're going to, you know, kill some Ukrainians now for the because they're Nazis, right? Even though the president's Jewish. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a good one. 
and they rebel, right? There's a little movement in Moscow, and right? And and what what did you hear? What just happened? They arrested like 1,200 people. They immediately drafted them. Did they arrest the actual people yeah. who were supposed so to be America, called into war? Because I heard that it was a lot of mothers basically saying, "I don't want my kids to go to war." That they were the ones revolting, and then they're the ones kind of feeling the wrath yeah. of the. Uh, Russian police. So in America, if you don't like something, you go out with a sign and you yell and da da da. The worst mm -hmm. case scenario, you know, they're gonna like push you back or something. Over there, you hold a sign and say you're against the war. You're immediately arrested, and now you're gonna go fight in the war. Mm. Wow. They're gonna basically <laughs> just put you in the front yeah. line and get you killed. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire Sauzcast, click right here.